Hi VC, it's Aaron, Mutha Alamir. Today I'm entering a contest for my great friend Steve at All the World of Stage. Now his contest is to show your three favorite Bob Dylan cover songs. By, you know, that's a song done by a different artist that did a Bob Dylan song. And he's done this contest because he discovered that Bob Dylan and his mother, who had passed away a couple years ago, sorry, so sorry about that, Steve, uh, share the same birthday, which is May 24th. And that's very cool, you know, right around Mother's Day. And um, I've got three here picked out. Plus, I picked out my two least favorite Bob Dylan covers to go with it. So a little extra here for you. Um, great idea for a contest. So I'm going to start out with my uh, three favorite ones. Now, my, at number three, I've got... It's called Baby Blue on this, but it's a song, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. It's on the 13th floor elevators, Easter Everywhere. Love it. Roki Erickson is such a great vocalist. I love his uh, singing, and and I, it's a great psych album. And I uh, can't say enough about Roki Erickson. So that's my number three. My number two, Maggie's Farm from Rage Against the Machine. Now, I'm not a giant Rage Against the Machine fan, but I really do love their cover of Maggie's Farm. I think it's excellent. They, uh, you know, made it way more, have way more energy and uh, sped it up. Um, you know, they did the electric style lyrics, which is really cool. So that's my number two, Maggie's Farm from Rage Against the Machine. And my number one favorite Bob Dylan cover song ever, and this is easy for me, was Subterranean Homesick Blues off Pussycats from Harry Nilsson. Now it's the Harry Nilsson record he did with uh, John Lennon producing, and they, they sped it up and made it almost into a hard rock heavy metal song in a way. Not, heavy, not quite metal, but a really hard rocking song. Absolutely love it. I think it's the best Bob Dylan cover song ever, and it's on a really great record there. Now for my two that I really don't care for that much, and I, I like both these artists, so I have both the records. Number one, I mean, my, my number two will be It's All Over Now, Baby Blue from Falco. Now, I do like this record, and I like Falco, but that song just doesn't fit Falco very much. It, it's the worst song on the record, I think. It, it's really odd hearing Falco singing Bob Dylan. So there it is right there. It's the last song on the record. And my least favorite Bob Dylan song cover ever, and this might surprise some people, Knocking on Heaven's Door from Guns N' Roses. I think it's absolutely horrid. I think uh, they, it's very self-indulgent. Axl Rose annoys me on it. I really love their version of Live and Let Die. I think that's a great cover. I think this one is awful. It's My friend's band used to cover it, and I thought they did it better. So every time I hear this version, I compare it to that, and it's just, it, I just can't stand it. I don't like it, The all of Axl stuff, and it's just too long and self-indulgent never liked it it's my least favorite Guns and Roses song probably so that's my two and now we're supposed to uh I'm supposed to wish my mom a happy Mother's Day and what I did is I put up a bunch of records here that I grew up listening to with my mom so she her favorites are most of her favorites are up here the two Burton Cummings records we listened to those constantly we had them on vinyl and on eight track when I was a kid so I heard those a lot and then the get, best of the Guess Who was always played in my house, that record there. That's how I got into Burton Cummings and the Guess Who so much, was hearing them in the 70s from my, uh, my mother playing them so much. And the Beatles with Abbey Road. I know her favorite Beatles song is on there. It's Oh Darling. And we had that album too as I, when I was a kid. I've, we had all these when I was uh, young, like in, my, in the 70s when I was a single digit age. So I heard all these albums a lot. The Elton John's greatest uh hits which we had an eight track of played it in the car constantly um paul simon's greatest hits we had that's the same record i had since i was a kid awesome record her one of her, her favorite her other favorite artist is rod stewart that's his greatest hits and we got john denver's greatest hits which uh, that's the actual album that i grew up listening to and Fleetwood mac this self-titled and rumors both were played in our house constantly so all these records remind me of my mom so happy Mother's Day to my mom, Debbie, and uh, I love you, and I will see you, um, I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.